In today's video, I want to talk to you all about some mistakes that I think we all need to stop making here in Apex Legends. And yes, you heard it, all of us. Me, you, your cousin, your auntie, your mama, everybody. We got to stop doing these things. And look, we won't be perfect in regards to these things by any means, but if we can keep these mistakes to a minimum, I can almost guarantee you your success rate in Apex Legends, your ability to catch these Ws, to clap cheeks left and right, will go through the roof. Now, let's go ahead and jump in, shall we? This first mistake hits home because this is something I try to do all the time and I catch myself in the act and my ego takes over and I end up getting clapped as a result. And it is this, it's always trying to secure the kill instead of just peppering somebody and living to fight another day, all right? Now, what I mean in this is peeking out from behind cover, hitting somebody for 50, dipping back behind cover, maybe putting on a shield cell or two because look, I got hit as well, right? And then re-engaging in the fight from a different angle. Sometimes I find myself getting a little too happy-go-lucky and I peek out and I wanna one-clip somebody. I have this thing in my head, in my soul, in my heart where I'm like, yo, I'm feeling it. Let's go ahead, empty out the clip of this R3 and get the one-clip jumping. And guess what? I empty out the clip and I don't get the one clip, right? I hit him for 80 or I hit him for 120, right? And what I do is I stay out there, reload, and try to keep firing. Now I am compromised. I have no cover whatsoever. And guess what? I am prone to being team shot, which nine times out of 10, that's what happens. Instead, I should be shifting my thought process to try to force the opposition out of cover to get that kill, right? To go ahead, reload that R301 and hit him with another mag and hopefully get that knock or hit him with an arc star or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? But realistically, if I'm not in a position to force them out of cover, I should just accept the damage trade and live to fight another day. And I believe you all should do the same. Moving on to mistake number two, all right, is this not staying within a certain proximity of your teammates, all right? Now, I do wanna preface that by saying this. You should always be around the same POI or at least within all distance if you're playing a mobile character like Octane or Valk, you know? And look, I know some people will give me pushback in regards to this. Cray, what if we're in pubs, man? Like, dude, we like it doesn't matter if we're in pubs, we're just landing frag and we're trying to frag out, you know what I'm saying? Or if we're on storm point, we're gonna land checkpoint if it's hot or we're gonna land command center, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. No, listen, at the end of the day, I don't care if it's a pub, I don't care if it's ranked, I don't care if it's the ALGS. Apex Legends is a team-based shooter game. You land with your teammates, you ping, you do call out, you do whatever you can to get them to drop hot alongside you, right? You stay alongside them and you get busy alongside them. I don't care if you're solo queuing or if you're three stacking, that's just the name of the game, right? Because look, I'm about to burst some bubbles here. I have to let you all know and I gotta keep it real with y'all. You're not Asu. you're not Is Timmy. I'm not Asu. I'm not Is Timmy. I'm not fade. I'm nobody of that caliber. And nine times out of 10, you probably aren't either. And that's totally fine, right? Those type of people can go ahead and they can 1v3. They can solo drop. They can do things of that nature. But they are the exception and not the rule. You know what I'm saying? You will be in a better position to win games, to win gunfights, and to get high damage, high kill games if you stay within a certain proximity of your teammates. Like, it's just the reality of it. I can't tell you how many times I got a little bit egotistical, broke off from my teammates, tried to explore a POI by myself, and ended up trying to handle a 1v3 situation. And look, I do decent. You know, I get a knock, crack somebody else, but dude, there's just no way in the world I'm going to be able to take on three people consistently. Right now, time after time, I might get lucky. I might be able to pull it off somehow, some way, when I'm playing Mirage or Bangalore or somebody like that, and I'm able to reposition very quickly. But look, let's be honest, when I'm going against above average players on a day-to-day -day basis, that's not gonna happen, you know? I'm gonna get pinned down from three different angles and it ain't gonna work in my favor and it's probably not gonna work in your favor either. So just being honest here, not to sound rude, I apologize if I sound rude, but I gotta keep it a stack with y'all. And mistake number three, this will be my final mistake for this particular video, is this. It's playing a role that you aren't built for, okay? Look, if you aren't a fragger, don't try to be, all right? Just don't try to be, especially if you main somebody like Crypto or Lifeline. Look, it ain't in you, and that is A-OK. -okay. That is totally fine, totally, totally fine. I can't tell you how many times I've solo queued in the past, and I queue in with the Watson or Crypto, and we go ahead and we beat up on a few teams, and they start to get a little bit like, yeah, we doing this, we doing this. And then that Crypto or that Watson tries to take lead, and they get absolutely pummeled. 
right? Because one, it probably wasn't in them from the get-go. They just got a little bit hyped because we was kind of fragging out. And two, they're not playing a character that can get them out of sticky situations. They're not playing Wraith. They're not playing Ash, Octane, a character of that nature. They are playing a supportive character, which tells me from a personality standpoint, they probably are used to playing supportive roles. Therefore, in conclusion, they probably should be more of a supporting cast. Now that doesn't mean that they don't do any damage or they don't get any kills, they probably do, but they might be a bit more of on the cleanup crew side rather than entry fragging. You should never be entry fragging with a Watson or a Crypto, like come on now, come on. You can entry frag with Wraith, again, she can Q out, Octane can jump pad out, Ash can go ahead and phase breach out, you know, characters of that nature. But if you are playing Crypto and you are trying to entry frag in a fight in Fragment City, I will hunt you down, I will kick open your door, and I'll put you in the headlock because that ain't right. That ain't right. So at the end of the day, know your role. And typically your role is based off of who you main in Apex Legends. If you main a support character, nine times out of 10, you probably play a support role. If you main an aggressive character, nine times out of 10, you probably main an aggressive role. Stick to that role. It is A-OK -okay because Apex Legends is a team-based shooter, as I say over and over again. Play your role, secure the W, re rinse and repeat. And folks, that's all I have for you in today's video. Let's stop making these mistakes together or let's minimize them together. The more minimal they are, the better we will all be collectively. I love you all. I'm signing out. As I always say, stay humble, be blessed and remain relentless. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.